A near decade long dispute over property taxes for Enbridge Oil in northern Minnesota could be ending soon. Now lawmakers are trying to ensure that the bill for a refund won't fall on taxpayers. Reporter Betsy Moline has more. In 2012, Enbridge contested a valuation made by the state which affected the amount that they were taxed. It has resulted in an ongoing court battle that's been going on for four years. Since then, it's been bouncing between the Department of Revenue, the courts, and the Supreme Court. Those valuations are made by the State Department of Revenue, which is different from various other assets in Minnesota, which are typically assessed by county. The reason is that they assess these on a, on a like state by state basis at a, at a national scope. So they're not just looking at Enbridge's value in, in Minnesota, they're looking at Enbridge's value entirely and then they apportion out the Minnesota values. Despite the assessments being made by the state, it would be up to the individual 13 counties the pipeline runs through as well as townships and even school districts to fulfill an upcoming refund order if it were to pass the courts. The statute says that the counties and other government entities would be responsible for repaying this or paying back this refund within, I believe it's about 60 days. There are five years that there are disputes for, which represents a significant amount of funds, especially including interest. With the size and scope of difference um, in the assessments, this obviously has many local governments concerned that if there's going to be a refund order, um, what's this going to do to residents? What's this going to do to property tax uh, payers both now and into the future? This would affect taxpayers individually. It really represents a, a potential significant impact for property taxpayers, especially the, the property taxpayers in smaller like townships or cities where Enbridge represents a significant part of their market value. Senator Paul Utke has introduced a bill that would hold the state accountable for the refund. With four more weeks left in session, lawmakers are hoping to have it passed this year in case there are no more appeals made by Enbridge or the state. So it's been a really long journey, and I think why you're seeing so much urgency here is I think that journey is coming to a close. Reporting in Bemidji, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. The bill would not be unique to the Enbridge court proceedings, but for all utilities that are evaluated by the state going forward. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.